night and gratifying night for us. Um, you know, my wife Karen works really hard, and you know, one of the, as I said a, a couple of days ago, a lot of people know a lot about her. Born and raised here, uh, she is as local as you can get. But I think what a lot of people don't really know about her is how much she bleeds that locality, that place of origin, thing that she does. And you know, I, I, uh, I love her. I'm blessed to be. Uh, a part of her life. My life changed dramatically when I met her uh, 15 years ago. And certainly, and certainly, it was 15 years ago. I know it. it was 17. Just saying. Right. 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 That's true. Though. That's true. Um, but anyway. My life has been uh, uh, changed enormously by her. I know that a lot of people who she will never meet, never meet her, life have been changed by the work that she does every day. And um, I think, you know, tonight is just a testament to that work. Uh, it gives her the opportunity to continue to do that work. And while, you know, several, a couple of months ago, you know, when she, people qualified against her, we certainly were disappointed about that, we didn't like that, but at the end of the day, this is a, this is a democracy. And we talked about that, and it said, re-engage with people, re-engage with this community, show what she has done, and let that speak for her. And Good to have somebody to beat up on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and let that speak for her, and people have responded to that, and we're forever grateful for that. So, to Karen, and your service, Yay. and your continued service, and consider that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She saw me empty a mile away. I just want to say, love you, Dana, and thank you for that, and thank you for being on my side. Oh. As a reminder. It's hard out you. when I uh, embarked upon this journey. Um, but this one is special. It's uh, the last term in the legislature for sure. Um, I've served for those 20 years and this will be the last term in the state senate. Um, but this was a lesson that Dana mentioned. It's a lesson in humility. It really is a lesson in humility and uh, humanity. Um, because as many of you know, I've been through a lot this year. And uh, we were able to tell our truth but we were also able to talk, tell our truth about the record and the work that we've done on behalf of people um, as Team KCP, because all of you are part of Team KCP. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm grateful for the support, the constant support, the love, the prayers, Father, sorry, Father Emmanuel, um, the love, Gigi, who was probably around for a champagne. Right over here. Somebody wants to do that. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, just, just grateful for Democrat Elaine, uh, Jonathan, Doug, uh, channeling my dad every day, Ken Carter. Uh, he helped me stay the course. And as Dana said, when we got out position, um, unfortunately, there were a lot of daggers thrown um, and tried to challenge me and what I might do in response to those attacks. But uh, about three, four days ago, I told Dana I woke up and one of the prayers that I referenced was about forgiveness and, and, uh, and about peace being at peace. And people continued to tell me that I needed to respond to his attacks. And I said, no, I think I just need to tell people who I am and, and remind them of my record and what I've done for them. And that's what we did. So I'm proud of what we did together. And so here's to all of you. It's a team KCP. I am proud of you and I hope to make you proud for the next four years as your senator. <laughs> what I think, who I think will be the next representative elect in District 99. And her name is Candace Newell. Oh. So Candace Newell, at the moment, has 49.86% of the vote. Oh my goodness. Yes, 49.86, but you know, God always has a plan. He always has a plan, and we don't necessarily understand what that is. I know that she left it all on the field for the last two and a half months. 
Um, and I am proud to have supported her. She's one of the few people that I supported in the legislature. I worked with Candace um, as a legislative intern for the Louisiana Legislative Black Caucus. She's a former teacher. She's a lawyer. She worked on criminal justice issues. And um, she's just a strong black woman. And we need strong black Ooh. women in the legislature. Amen. Amen. She would be the only African-American woman serving in the House uh. for New Orleans in Baton Rouge. And I want to make that happen because, as I said, I only have four years left. And when we're not at the table, we're on the menu. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and I need Candace at the table. So I hope that Team KCP <laughs> would join me for the next 30 days to make sure that Candace joins me. And I will leave it to you, Ms. Newell. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Thank you very much. I don't have such a track record to speak on, but <laughs> my, the last two and a half months have been humbling. This is my first time as a candidate, clearly. I worked behind the scenes with Senator Peterson, with Mayor Cantrell, with Councilman Banks, learning at the feet of Mr. Doug Evans, Mr. Jim Singleton. So when this opportunity came about, I felt that I was more than prepared. Yes. Folks kept telling me that you've got a, a machine you know how you're gonna beat them? My answer was, have you seen mine? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all clearly have not seen the machine that's working behind me. It's it's just a great group of individuals who all have added to me to help groom me to get to this position. I never thought that I would be standing here one day at fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> of the vote for a, a can, as a candidate for state representative. I never imagined that. Your prayers, your support, the encouraging words, because every day you got to work harder. You're losing. <laughs> you got to work harder. Oh, that's oh, that's <laughs> what are you doing? You got to work harder. And I did. My, my dog and I were out there every day <laughs> knocking on doors. And my daddy's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm knocking on doors. Who's with you? Sebastian. Y'all be careful. And that, Sebastian is my dog. <laughs> and Joe will come with me after work. We're out knocking doors. I was out with Councilman Th um, Oliver Thomas. I tried to touch everyone yes. in the district. Yes. And I got a, I got a good feeling about this. I, I got a good feeling of talking to my constituents and learning what it is that they need and what they want. And I'm proud to say that every issue that they said they have concerns with, I already have experience. We're working with it. And experience in helping draft that public policy. So I feel comfortable in November when we have to do 1% so that I can work with Senator Peterson and the rest of the Orleans delegation in the Capitol, along with our Governor Edwards. That's right. So, again, I'm going to say thank you. Please pray for me. Please talk to your family and friends who are in New Orleans East, Lower Night, Upper Night, Bywater, and Marigny area. And tell, them, exactly. tell them that you have met the candidate, their candidate, for state representative for District 99, and you should vote for her, because she's an awesome woman. <laughs> Hey, uh, before we, I want to channel a couple people. Um, 